including guitarholics, gearheads, and string slingers alike. How are you doing today? This is Wes for another edition of Guitarholics, and I'm back with Raphael, my turtle shell guitar. Uh, I'm sure that if you follow the channel, you have uh, you've seen this. So, uh, well, when I introduce this little guy to the world. Uh, Shout out again to uh, Chris Bean at uh, Earth Original Studios for building this. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still just having a blast with the Turtle Shell guitar. And uh, just got to tell you, um, you know, sometimes you pick up a guitar and it has its own story to tell. Not just sometimes, just about every time. You pick up a, a new guitar, a different guitar, and... That guitar has its own story to tell, and uh, sometimes it's just in the wood, or in the material. In this case, it might be in the shell. Um, sometimes, I don't know if it's a feel, if it's uh, the aura of the guitar. Whatever the case may be, a lot of times the guitar tells you Hey, this is what I feel like playing. Sometimes you just have to kind of roll with it. And a lot of the times, I mean, it's something that you just wind up having some, some fun with. So when I have picked up this guitar recently, it sort of told me, hey man, There's a little something that I just want to say to the world. What is that something? Does it have to do with the body shape? Does it look a little bit like a banjo? Does it feel a little bit like a banjo when you pick it up? Maybe just a little bit. But, I hate to tell you, Banjo buddy, you ain't no Banjo. But you are it's an instrument of destruction. Okay. Well, Guitarholics, I hope you had fun. Sorry for absolutely destroying dueling banjos, but it had to be done. Because every time I pick up this guitar, 
It literally tells me, Wes. And then I, it just immediately triggers Zombieland. I want to smash a zombie in the face with it, which I would never do because I love this guitar. Thank you for your time. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for putting up with my shtick. I will see you next time, Guitar Hawks. Whoa.